Stealth Army, welcome back to another Minecraft video today. I hope you guys are all doing great, having a spectacular day, and we got some important things to talk about in regards to the Warden and the Deep Dark. Now, I'm not trying to clickbait you guys, honestly, like, a lot of important things going on with these two features lately, and King B Dogs brought up some important things today, and I feel like, you know, I want to keep you guys updated on what's going on with 1.18, what's going on with Minecon, and especially some of our favorite features like the Warden in the Deep Dark. So another one of those videos where I really encourage you guys to share your thoughts down below, share your opinions about the Warden, the Deep Dark, as well as just 1.18 entirely. But before we actually get into the bulk of the video, something that's been basically in the back of my mind ever since it happened is the split. 1.17 and 1.18 being split into two major updates. And I think back to the main reasons why Mojang decided to do that. So instead of replaying that entire video by Mojang, here's a paragraph that basically sums it up pretty well. The health of our Mojang Studios team is a top priority, and working remotely during the global pandemic has been challenging for all of us. To ship the full Caves and Cliffs update as planned would have required asking our team to work overtime. And even then, we may not have been able to guarantee the high level of polish our players expect. So clearly, COVID has had a major impact on past updates, on current updates, and more than likely, future updates as well. I mean, we already know archaeology was taken out of the Caves and Cliffs update, so I imagine this will continue. COVID hasn't magically gone away, right? So... This will continue to impact development, the quality of it, how long it takes to work on certain features. So with that being said, I feel like I can read the tweet now. King B Dog said this earlier. If you could choose, would you prefer to flesh out the deep dark as a biome more or the warden as a mob? Which is more important to you? So I replied by saying the deep dark is the bread, the warden is the butter. And then I replied also by saying that comparison probably doesn't help, but I feel like you need a solid deep dark in order to have a polished warden. So this got a lot of replies, a bunch of retweets and likes, but essentially King B Dogs is asking us which one is more important to you. The mob that's basically a monster, a demon, an ancient type of creature that we've never seen before, that clearly is menacing and doesn't like you being in its domain or the deep dark. This mysterious type of environment that's pitch black, that is at the very bottom of the world, that has so many mysteries and so many things that we just don't know about it. And I know it intrigues the entire community. In fact, I would say we don't know too much about both of these features. We don't really know everything there is to know about the Warden. But there's so much in terms of possibilities with the Deep Dark. And I feel like in order to have a solid, polished Warden, you need that environment. You need to have the Deep Dark be at its best. And there's that saying, that really old saying about building a solid house on a strong foundation or something like that. There's some weird analogy about having a strong foundation. And I feel like the Deep Dark is that foundation. And although I'm completely obsessed with the Warden, I want to start like a fan club for the Warden. I'm honestly okay with King B Dogs taking more time to work on the Deep Dark. And if that means that, you know, the Warden has to be pushed back, I'm also okay with that. I don't want King B Dogs stressing or overworking himself. Honestly, when it comes to people's well being, I'm always going to put that first. Mental health is such an important thing to me. I don't know if a lot of you guys realize that. Maybe a lot of you just see me as a YouTuber or maybe just as a gamer, but I'm definitely just a normal person behind this mic, this monitor, you know, this screen. And I treat everybody else the same way as people with emotions, with feelings that do go through some tough times and need more time to work on things, especially during a pandemic and right now I see these developers that have been going through some tough times and clearly they just need as much time to make their vision come true and I know they have some amazing ideas for Minecraft we just got to be more patient and we got to give them the time that they need to really make sure that these are features that they feel are polished and that they represent their vision and 
I know some people out there are still gonna be upset like, yo, you had more time to work on these features and they're still not ready, they're still not gonna be out on time. And if you feel like that, I don't really feel like you should be a part of my community because we're supportive. We're people that look out for each other, especially developers, people that work on our favorite game. Like that's not the type of energy I want here. You gotta be supportive. And especially just for these people that put their heart and soul into Minecraft, like we gotta be better than this. And luckily, I don't even feel like I need to say this because my community is that incredible. You guys are amazing, supportive, kind, and just, yeah, incredible people. So I don't really feel like I need to say all of that, but if you see anybody, you know, spouting that type of nonsense, that type of negative energy directed at these developers, like, nah, we gotta call them out on that because a lot of people are going through some tough times. Like, I've been seeing a bunch of developers posting things that have me questioning, like, are they okay? Like, Dinnerbone said something a month ago and I didn't even know he was gone. And, you know, it's just one of those things where these are tough times for a lot of people. We gotta be empathetic. We gotta just be more caring as not only a community, but as a world. So uh, I feel like I got super off topic there. Maybe I didn't, but it looks like a lot of people agree with me on the deep dark. Whip said, I would have to say the biome as once that is complete, players can explore it and start to see what it's like to survive down there. Then in a future update, a new threat can appear being the warden and players may be slightly more prepared for it after understanding the zone. And then Waddle said, biome for sure. A mob is amazing, but a fully fleshed out biome like what you have all have done with the lush caves is even better. So yes, I agree with pretty much all of these tweets. I feel like the deep dark would just be more beneficial, it would give us more content, more things to explore, and also still you get that challenge. I mean, it's still gonna be extremely creepy and very mysterious. I'm not really sure how the treasure room would work because, I mean, there's no guardian there. Um, but as of right now, I think the deep dark takes priority. But if you feel different, that's okay. This is the type of place, this is the type of community to share your opinions and your thoughts as long as you're not trying to tear anybody down or be negative or hateful or just make someone feel really bad. This is not the place for that. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for all of the crazy support lately. Stealth Army, we're almost at 165,000 subscribers. Let's get it. Be sure to hashtag that Stealth Army down below. I don't feel like I said that during the introduction, but you guys know the routine, you know the drill, and notification squad. Y'all are the goats. I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, everyone. Peace.